three, two, one. Brothers thrice. Brothers thrice. Brothers thrice. We are three close brothers. Listen to Brothers Thrice, cause we're the best. Welcome to Brothers Thrice. Woo! Hey yo! <laughs> Here comes Brothers Thrice. Here comes the Brothers Thrice. Wow. All right, well, welcome to Brothers Thrice. We are going to be talking about uh, the new Spider-Man movie that just came out, No, no Way Home. Home. I feel like we should start by saying happy. Spoilers. Uh, oh. Well, also happiest okay. of New Year's to all of you. We are recording on the first of 2022. Um, oh yeah. Yes. New Year's. So Day. happy New Year to you both. You too, guys. Happy New Year. Happy and New Year. We all ho- hopefully all should sound very similar now because we uh Christmas kiss Christmas Santa came and brought new microphones. So we all now sound um we should sound around the same now if we didn't hear before. Mm-hmm. So thanks, Mr. Sandy. Sandy Sandy Claus. Sandy, Sandy Claus. Oh. I'm the fourth Spider Man. <laughs> for the Spoil audio spoilers. For the, for the audio uh, the audio listeners, there's uh, well, spoilers Brian's first. Screen. We yeah, have spoilers. to spoilers. Yeah, Brian, no spoilers. Even though, say- so it, this movie came out now about um uh, <laughs> not uh, not a month ago, I guess almost a, like a, uh, two three weeks ago. So if you haven't seen People it, people can assume that based on the title. Well, there's going to be spoilers. They might just like... talk. We might just talk generally about it. I want it. You want to because you wouldn't be one to be ruined, would you? Like this movie spoils for you. Of course That'd be not. So but if if I was if I was being cautious about spoiling the movie, I wouldn't click on a podcast that says "No Way Home" in the title parentheses spoilers. I, yeah, I will have that in the title for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so talking about Spider Man's. Spider Man's. Spider Man's. Um, first impressions, guys. Well. I saw it on not the day like so come it came out Thursday night of the 16th. Yeah, I think we all saw it the opening weekend. I don't understand how I do that. As just well, it was always general. it was always like opening night was Friday opening day was Friday so like at midnight on Thursday you would see the no, movie. No, but there's but there's but showings at like 6 yeah. o'clock. Well, it's, it's like, like Black like, Friday like now Black Friday how itself, it's, yeah. yeah, how it starts now yeah, like uh, like two days, three days, all month long whatever. Yeah, Eventually they just do it. it's going to be it's just going to be it's coming out the seventeenth, but you could see it on the first. Like I don't understand. No, they won't do that. But yeah, it's, no. But they, they they've extended it back now because they just they because they open more theaters and more times they'll sell out, which they did, and because it's already yes. uh, this movie has already made made over a billion dollars. It was the second biggest opening billion dollars, second biggest opening next to Endgame uh, opening weekend. Um, so that was a big deal because it was the, you know. It's obviously a Marvel movie, so it has the same cachet, I guess. But to have during, you know, quote unquote, still pandemic times, this opening is nuts compared to, you know, Endgame, which, well, that still was insane how big it was. Yeah. yeah. This is the first movie I've seen in years. Like in, in, the, theaters. Theaters. in the theater. Yeah. 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 Well, I saw Eternals this... in theaters. So did I. Oh, okay. This is, I, mean, I went on next a... to me and she was like, <laughs> I'm like, and, and I yeah, went Eternal. to this movie. Eternals because it was during the yeah. day I went. Yeah, I went at like Wednesday night. It was weird. There was like one other person in there. It was just, you know. But this is not about Eternals. A Sunday matinee. The weekend, the opening weekend, it was a well, Sunday right. matinee. But you didn't see Eternals yet, right, Bri? No, I did not. It's going to be on uh, Disney, Disney Plus, Plus on the, the January 12th. So you can watch it good then. Good to know. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah, but let's get, let's get, let's get on topic here. Oh, sorry. Uh, so we all saw it. I think we all saw it opening weekend. I saw it Correct. Friday Correct. afternoon. Kev saw it. When did you see it, Kev? Saturday. And then, yeah. oh, yeah, then Brian Saturday, saw it Sunday. Saturday, 11 o'clock. And Brian, you saw it Sunday that came out, right? So we all were opening Correct. weekend. Correct. Which is why it hit, you know, it it uh it became number two because I don't think there's ever been a movie that we've all seen the opening weekend ever. Other than Endgame? Well, did we see Endgame the opening weekend? I did. I, I did. I did. Okay, that I did too. Two. So one and two. <laughs> The rest, of anything in that other than that, we had we usually don't see all at once because that's it, it was an event movie. It was something that we had. To, well, like, we, we saw Spider. We saw Star Wars. All the they're the two of the Star Wars is together on opening weekend, didn't we? I can't remember if it was opening or it was like that was. Like, I, I can't that was remember. A long time ago. I don't know. Well, remember we were gonna go see Star Wars. I forget which one it was. It was either Last Jedi or Force Awakens. We we're gonna go see it, and then we we're gonna go to that movie theater that serves food. And then you yeah. like booked the wrong time, and then we had I to go to the a wrong different movie theater day or time yeah. or something. Yeah, I, I messed up. 
I saw one of the star, newest Star Wars movies with Dad once. Yeah, we had this like, conversation. You guys were busy. Yeah, you guys were busy, and I was like, "Hey, you want to go see this movie?" He's like, "I have no idea what the hell's going on." Then no. one of the newer, newer. Yeah, you ones? saw Rise of Skywalker with him. That yes, yes. trash of a movie. I was like, oh. "I gotta see this movie." Well, we already trashed. We already trashed no that movie. We already trashed that movie in our original, <laughs> uh, one of our early episodes. Yeah, shout out to our Star Wars episode from a while back. Before That's we right. even did, we did brackets. We just just chatted about it. Mm-hmm. Um, when's our when's our one year anniversary of Brothers Thrice? Not even close. <laughs> it's, it's only the nineteenth episode. We haven't done that many. Well, yeah, but I can I mean, look back. I, I look back and remember, see when I don't we remember record, when we started. We, we uploaded our first one. Hold on. We in in to, honor uh, of the new year, we have to do something special for our one year anniversary. Uh, let's see. I uploaded the first episode of Brothers Thrice. I don't count that the was, intro episode. Mm-hmm. That was the I'm Marvel just, episode, right? Uh yeah, first one I think was the Marvel episode. Um on May uh May 17th. 51721. Wow. So we're All not right. that close. <laughs> 5 months yeah. away. But yeah, so almost a half we've only done it for like a half a year <laughs> pretty much. Half birthday. Hey. Yeah. So happy. All right. We keep getting birthday. distracted. Talking about Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Sorry. Uh, who wants to start with their first impressions? I guess I'll go. I don't know. Um, yeah, go ahead, Will. All right. So I was going in full hype, which Actually, you know you always it's always hard to go into a movie full hype when you you know there's a very big chance if you're up here that you could be brought down and not be as excited and to be like, oh man, it wasn't like everything I wanted, everything I excited I was excited for, but I'm not like like thinking back of it now. Like in the in the moment when we left the movie theater, I'm like that did everything I wanted to do. I saw everything I wanted. I got everything like all the check marks I had in my brain of how I hope they do this. They did it, <clears throat> which was very like, exciting. Could, could you could you name them now, please? Um, I was what talking, those checks. I was talking to M. I was saying how Tobey Maguire is the only one who has it like organically. The webs organically come out of him, and I wonder <laughs> if they're gonna bring it up or he's gonna do it and they're gonna be like ew like what the hell <laughs> you're gross <laughs> but then there was but they kind of then like oh here's your web cartridge he's like web cartridges and i was like oh they're doing i turned i like elbowed m in the ribs i'm like they're doing it <laughs> they said they're talking about the webs is different um so that was definitely one of them and then another one um the, I, there was like a, it wasn't like a, a, a certain thing but it was more like a, i didn't want them to be in like the whole movie which they which they did pretty well. I think they didn't. They, mm-hmm. I I was nervous they were gonna be like it was just gonna be a quick little thing at the end, and I but I didn't want it to be too too quick or too long or too much of them. They I think they did a good a good balance where it was like it was still Tom Holland Spider Man's movie, and they right. were just kind of like you know a little extra seasoning, little, sprinkle little, it, <laughs> little just little 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 because they just they yeah they they complimented well and they didn't they didn't overstay their welcome and they didn't. But they also weren't there, like weren't there um, too little. Where it's like I wanted more of them. I think it was like just uh, well, just enough. Just enough. But that's my, you know. That was it. That was all your checks. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you good? So, okay. Um, yeah. One ahead, of Jared. when I when I went in to it. Um, so my one of my students saw it on thursday and i made sure i told my class well all my classes if anyone spoils spider-man on friday if you've seen it on thursday i will give you multiple detentions very uh, i gave I the a, same thing i expulsion i think year. yeah i gave <laughs> i was like kid, if you spoil spider-man for me i will fail you for the year i Not gave a kid detention um when Endgame came out, because he spoiled Endgame, I saw it because I saw it open a weekend, uh, but other kids didn't, and I said that that's selfish and um, just you yeah. know not nice for other people. I, so I gave him lunch detention. I wouldn't um, give him a beheading. He was like, "Seriously, you're gonna give me lunch detention?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, lunch detention. Yeah. You're eating. You're eating very, alone very with rude. me in silence." Um, but nobody spoiled it. But one of my students saw it Thursday night and said that um, he's like, "Well, you know." high expectations you know going in and i was like waiting for like a, oh okay and he just says keep your expectations high i was like oh, oh all right so that was cool um but yeah it, it hit everything that um like will said hit everything that i wanted but also um 
like uh, there was a couple points where like I would you know be, like I went over to Chris and I was just like yeah like that's what yeah, I, I wanted to see of, that was a lot of oh my goodness like yeah cool. one of the major ones uh, that isn't as integral to the story but integral to the future of Marvel was having Charlie Cox's Daredevil yeah, that was in cool. it which was really cool because M mean, M M didn't watch it. M had no idea I'm like I'm like oh, Daredevil's in it yeah. Yeah, Br- and, Chris yeah, didn't know what, either. I, I said that to I said that to Bray too. I was like, "That's Daredevil." And she's like, "Who?" And I'm like, "Never mind." <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut, right. shut up! Yeah, um, <laughs> and because the Daredevil series on Netflix is it's one really of my good. favorite shows, just overall, it's just mm-hmm. so great. And he does such an amazing job as Daredevil that I was so happy that there he's going to be continuing. I'm I was worried that they were going to recast Daredevil if they were going to use him, but I'm so happy that they kept him as Daredevil. Yeah, I don't, um, it depends on whether like because but he also. I don't know if they're going to do more with him. Are they going to have him? Cause like they, well, I'm, I'm thinking like the New York, like kind of New York scene where you have Spider-Man. Now you have daredevil there. Now, um, did you guys watch Hawkeye? And then Batman comes in? No, that's, <laughs> that's DC. Did oh, see, right, right, right. Did you guys see Hawkeye? Yes, I did. No, I haven't, I haven't watched Hawkeye. All right, well, yet. I can't talk about Hawkeye then. Cause there's somebody I'm in so that sorry. that's kind of like makes sense in the New York crime scene, blah, blah, blah. Right. Well, I mean, I'm just glad that like, they're probably gonna, they're not going to bring him in and not do something with Daredevil. I'm just happy that they yeah. brought him in to do something with Daredevil. I'm sure he's going to come up. Maybe maybe uh, him and Spider Man will have a team up, but also it's a whole freaking mess up with Sony and Marvel and right. like Sony well, with owns that, the movies and blah, blah blah blah. With that though, I feel like because the Spider Man franchise has done so well monetarily, like with Marvel, I mean, it made a billion dollars in a for hand sneezing right. <laughs> Yeah, I, right? I muted the mic. I he muted, muted the mic. it. To, he muted. Thank it to you. Sneeze. That's very considerate. Um, but Bar- since he made a billion dollars in a weekend, yeah, no, it didn't make a billion dollars in a weekend. I made a billion dollars like, in two weekends. Anyway, a billion oh, dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, well, no, Sony okay, it wasn't right away. Sony is not going to. Is it would be dumb to then be like, no, Spider Man's ours. Like yeah. they make this amount of money because it's attached they need the- to. They need Marvel. the MCU. They need the MCU cachet. They need that. Right. Connected I don't universe. think if they, if like, they do an, a solo Spider-Man movie without Marvel, it won't do as well. I don't think it, so. Not nearly as well. So uh, I feel like the executives at Sony have to be like, this is where we make money. So we're going to keep doing Let's it. Just it's going it, to, yeah. it's going to build our other brands. So they want to make the Morbius movie and they have the Venom stuff and all that sort of stuff the success of spider-man in the mcu helps that other stuff yeah but it's also like because technically technically like they're disconnected because it but it is connected at the same time because yeah. i think because i don't know if there's like communication with sony and marvel to be like hey this is how we're connecting them but it's like marvel's probably like no we make we make the rules on who how it's connected you don't well i think what they'll do <laughs> is because yeah. of the showing of other universes Another yeah. like in the multiverse, what they can do is have Tom Holland Spider Man is the one that's part of the MCU, and then they can t- continue doing Morbius. They can do like all Venoms and all that sort of stuff, and have that be in the universe with Andrew Garfield or Tom well, Maguire. That's and have gonna, them, that's if they're gonna do that, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I mean, they because could reprise like because Andrew then, Garfield reprise his role as Spider Man. I just don't then, think they will because I think that that just could cause confusion in the marketplace. Like, okay, which then like the Spider-Man. I don't think it's that. Well, it's not, confu- not confusing, confusing, but like it's like if there's two different Spider-Men, like both making movies currently, it just wouldn't make sense. I think it would be I think fine. That, like you know, well, no, like if you're fine, a fan, think, yes, you know what's think, going on. But I think there's automatically going to be a comparison between MCU Spider-Man and Sony Spider-Man, and then All right, but I think be, they this could one's do better. I'm going to pay money to see this one, not the other one. No, I think they could do two different things with it. Like the MCU Spider-Man would be more lighthearted. Um, more um, like the more family friendly type Spider-Man. Whereas like if they did a Sony only, they could do more of like, if it's Andrew Garfield, I don't do think more of work. a gritty like Spider-Man, like going against Venom, going against Craven the Hunter, Morbius, which is more of like a, not as family friendly Morbius is content. <laughs> Probably. Didn't, didn't they had a, I saw a trailer for Morbius with, what is it? Jared Leto was yeah, the Jared Leto. It's coming out. It's yeah. coming out this month. It's not going to be good. But I, I, I don't I don't think that would work because then I think they would have it would because like, this Spider-Man MCU is the only Spider-Man right now and it's making a billion dollars. If you saturate the marketplace with multiple like it's already, even like the Sony like v- v- uh, Venom and different things like they're making money, but they're not making 
MCU money. So like no, they can, they'll not. be, they'll be cranking those out until they stop making the decent amount of money they're going to make. But I just don't, I don't, I don't think they're going to do, cause I think they, cause then I think that Marvel will probably try to sue them for some way or some reason. No, they that can't we have, because they have rights to Spider-Man. They do. They do. But I think they, so Marvel has no rights to Spider-Man. No, I know. But I think, I think that they are, they would be spitting in Marvel's face, which I think would be a bad idea on their part. Cause they've already made this partnership and they, this really, good thing going i think they switch it up and they say no we're doing our completely doing our own thing but then they can, they then they can, can just... now with the multiple universes yes but it's not the same it, even though there are yeah there are multiple universes but it doesn't mean that the movie's going to be good the movie's no. still to be, the movie's still to be good well yeah but that i mean that goes with any movie at any point no i know if but it's I, not I just good it's not good i don't think it's going to work I don't think they would do that the new spider-man the new no. new sony spider-man is me uh, sorry to spoil it. It's dropped. Uh, you know, brother's here's my exclusive. Audition. Here's my audition tape. <clears throat> How you doing? Uh, an action. You know, I was gonna say for the, for the audio listeners, for the audio listeners, they can't see swinging. you swinging in and also, with a backdrop is, of New York City. Why is the why is Spider Man so weird and skinny and tall? Spider Man is always weird and skinny. He's not Tom gangly. Not, Tom Tom Holland is not tall and skinny. Well, he, I'm not gangly. You're pretty gangly. I'm uh, what they call a lean. Sure. Well, you I'll would tell you be what. you'd be Mr. Fantastic or um, you play Groot, <laughs> elongated man, and that's about elongated it. man. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's a DC. It's yeah, Mr. Fantastic in DC. Mr. Or they were well, uh, a couple plastic years man. ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago, um, our our neighbor asked me to be spider-man for her son's birthday party oh shit so now yeah because she, so she was like you're, you're perfectly. Would be perfect for it yeah yeah she you're was the only one put... who could, you're the only one who could fit into the costume yeah probably <laughs> did you ever uh, do that she, no <laughs> oh That's she, really she funny. never contacted me again about it so i guess i guess the Spider-Man kid's now 30 the kid's 30 years old and he doesn't want you anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right, let's talk about well, the actual Spider-Man you, movie. Brian, yeah. go ahead. You didn't say your I, thoughts. We got into I I bro- agree with everything notes. that was said. <laughs> I agree everything with everything that was said, but I think that it was a little bit overhyped, to be honest with you. In I think it way? delivered on every I don't know. Like I think that it kind of some parts were a little silly that it just kind of like just yeah it was just like this but is if, like when when ned was magic for no reason and he just he did like the what is it sling ring yeah is but i think called? but knowing marvel they don't that they didn't just do that for just to do that they do that for a reason that in the future he's going to be have some sort of magical stuff or be be someone in the mcu like they yeah, don't they, guess, they don't they don't just, just i was like really they, after seeing what they've done with Endgame with other things they don't just do things to do things like oh we need to get the spider-man here all right, uh, Ned's got magic now. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't just throw that in there. They have like a, a, well, yeah, a plan for understandable. that. Understandable, but it, it but just, it just felt like. That, I think knowing, you know I mean? think knowing that in the back of my head, it's not like it doesn't make it silly. It makes it oh, I'm wait, I'm excited to see where they take this. Yeah, in well, the future. My one, I think, uh, like the one gripe I have with the film, and it's only I only have one. Everything else is great. Is the moment that the Peter Parkers, you know, Toby and Andrew go and they're like oh where is peter oh i know where he is he's on top of the school so they go there and mj and ned are like hug him and they're like we have some like people you want to meet there's yeah. no shock and or surprise from tom holland spider-man like he just like looks at them and goes you know i forget what he says but like it's just like i was waiting for some sort of like more shock and awe from him knowing like I feel like he probably thought that this was a possibility, being that there's other like villains other from other Venoms. universes. Yeah, other than and other the, you know they were like, "Oh, you're not Peter Parker." He's like, "Yes, I am." But like, you know, like so he had an still, idea of it. Still all messed up from Aunt May dying. I guess so, but like I don't know. I was yeah. waiting for a little bit more shock from him in that moment, being like, "Oh my god, there's other Spider Man." Yeah, well, he, he probably just wasn't with- shocked because the villains were like, he's probably like, "Yeah, this checks out." He's yeah, also, but like, I think he's also I very know. smart, and like, he's like, okay, I'm like, if there's multiple villains from other universes that know me, but it's not me, then it, like, seeing, like, I, yeah, yeah, I guess there would have been a little more, but that's more of just like a quick acting thing. It's not a plot point that I, have, I would be. Well, I mean, it's a not a plot point, but it's a it's a deliberative decision made by the director to 
De- in that moment. Like they're yeah. De- deliberate. No, I, sure. <laughs> Whatever. I'm making up words. It's fine. Um, Deliberative. Yeah. I'm look it up. It's an well, essay do you word. think? Do you guys think that? Um, do you think Miles Morales is going to be introduced into so. the MCU? Because I hope when, they do. When um, Electro, Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx, like when he had his. I thought you were uh, black. Andrew Garfield has. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I thought Spider Man would be black. Yeah. I was like, oh, Miles Morales may, might come in. Then. I, I hope he does. I, that'd be because be, in the video games, he's great. Miles Morales is great. So I think they could easily. I can also all easily now at this at the end of the movie, having Spider Man be on his completely on his own, new, you know, homemade suit, poor Peter Parker, literally, literally poor Peter Parker. He's got a shitty apartment. It's great. It like it yeah. kind of ties it into like where Tobey Maguire is and it was in the movies where he's got like a You'll shitty get house. You right when you fix this damn door. <laughs> <laughs> um, like like I just that was really like having him there. I'm like he easily could like be doing solo Spider Man stuff and uh, a Miles Morales gets bit by a spider and it, like then he like like in the video game where he mentors him mm-hmm. and Tom Holland being like the nice dude he is like totally could see him mentoring and being excited that there's someone to share his like his life with now because he, he has absolutely no one yeah he's so lonely <laughs> who do you think would play miles morales any actors i want it to be a no-name yeah. person. actors timothy I, chalamet no <laughs> in blackface <laughs> no, 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 no 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 denzel washington <laughs> little old little old no I denzel to, has range to be a no name. Can, <laughs> can you can you play 40 yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> needs to be a no name it needs to be someone who's like fresh and just like and and pretty much like embodies the 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 spider-verse one i think i think that was great spider-verse and also the video game like to have that kind of just have that guy in a with sense the, the and, an, complete cgi animation of and, that and, but character. nobody nobody mentioned it it's yeah, nobody's saying like your cartoon. Well, they honestly probably could CG a full person in my universe. In my universe, everyone's cartoons. <laughs> no, I want Spider Whoa. Ham. Spider, Spider Ham, Ham, voiced by John Mulaney, <laughs> to be <Yeah>. Miles Morales. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, think, well, I think that'd be, the, I could totally see that working. I think they should give him a solo movie, a solo movie first, just fighting. Uh, you know, AK, you know, any Spider Man villain. There's a million of them. And uh, having just like a, a simple solo movie that doesn't need to be fully like immersed in like this is the MCU and multiverse blah blah, blah. Mm-hmm. and then maybe then the next one would be the mile and like and then tease the Miles Morales um, Miles Morales at the end of that one the next one is mentoring and yeah double uh, double up fighting a big bad wouldn't be surprised if that was the, the case. I hope that, but I, I mean I, if I'm if I was that... if I was starting these up I would that's I would go there because it's like it, that's yeah. very exciting to see. I think they might do something with the rhino because when he was trying to bring, when uh, Doctor Strange was trying to bring like the cracks in the sky together or something like that, he's like, they're starting yeah, to come through. Rhino. Like you saw the outline of the rhino, and I didn't really see the outline of a bunch of, people, a bunch of people though. Yeah, but it was a bunch of people. I didn't see any clear outlines of others. It was Craven the. It was Craven the Hunter. the Hunter was there. Yeah, I saw a bunch. There. To be um, honest, I don't even know who that is. I was waiting Craven, for. You know Craven the Hunter is. He's I guess he's got like the big lion pelts. Yeah, he's got like a spear. A spear. He, you remember, they're, you remember they're the animated a, movie? The animated TV show? Well, it was when I you mean, were I a child. Don't, but. I don't, oh, this dude. Which doesn't they, make sense. They're so making like, a Craven the Hunter movie. They were I think they were Sony I think they said I think Sony said that, that was the original that was the original idea for this Spider-Man movie. It was supposed to be like a Craven the Hunter movie. Um, mm-hmm. but they totally abandoned it because it probably would not be as big. <laughs> Yeah, well, they did. Um, oh, so Craven the Hunter is going to have his own movie. It's going to be the guy who played Quicksilver. Yeah. The and MCU Quicksilver. Ass. And kick ass. Um, That's weird. <laughs> no, he's, he's a big dude. Be he's a big, he's a macho dude now. No, I'm just saying, like, it's going to be weird that he's that actor's already in the MCU. They do this all the time. No, no, no. But like in this MCU, I mean, like, yeah, Chris yeah. Evans was. Well, Craven was the Hunter is going to be a solely, but... a solely Sony it's movie. A Sony it's not going to be so in the not, MCU. Oh, it's Sony, not okay, the that's MCU. why. Yeah, I didn't gonna, know that. I think Sony's just going to try to get like, every, just make a movie for every villain until they. Probably. I don't know. Because what well, the weird thing is that having in Morbius, in the Morbius trailer, there's a, there's like uh, Tombs, Vulture, is, Michael Keaton is in the trailer, apparently in the movie. So if that, if he's <laughs> there, 
then he and then he and he's in the jail or whatever. Technically, then he's in the MCU, but it's all like you know they also be ironed out because it's like why is he in it? And also, yeah. then more, at the end of the trailer, Morbius mentions Venom, so it's like obviously like Venom is known to people. Hmm. And I don't know. Well, I mean, at the end, at the end of No Way Home, the 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 post credit scene had the little the little goo left over. So yeah. They're gonna I would imagine like, that the MCU with Tom Holland's gonna have something to do with Venom and then Topher nice Grace movie, comes so. in. <laughs> who? Oh well, Topher right, Grace, the guy who play uh who plays Eddie Brock in the third, third Spider Man movie. <laughs> well, the guy that, from the seventy show. Mean, you mean Eric Foreman? Yeah, Topher Grace. Um, but then, well, I wanted to be because it was at the bar with Danny Rojas. I want Danny Rojas. I want Danny Rojas just become Venom because he's right there. He's wiping the counter. Goes on him. He's now Venom. Football is life. <laughs> Venom is life. <laughs> you probably didn't, you didn't watch Ted Lasso, Brian. No, nope. oh, oh, that's great. You're missing out. I don't got Apple you, TV. If you get a Mac, if you get a new MacBook, you get a year of Apple TV Plus. So get it. Yay! There you go. It pays for itself. Yeah, yeah. With Ted Lasso. Oh, that I was Whatever at the grocery say. store. Uh, oh, probably more for Kev then at the grocery store, and they had um, Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso like biscuits like the biscuits he gives to the oh boss. nice and like just having it in a little box and they were selling them at Sue Leonard so I was like that's fun um I thought we were talking about Spider-Man sorry that's it <laughs> that's so, all sure. it's all um so let's talk about the want to talk about the villains sure yes I I liked uh, I liked the reprise of um the the Green Goblin I'm glad that he uh, was kind of like the main dude awesome yeah, he's yeah, the best. He's so the good. best villain, and I mean, Alfred Berlina did awesome too. Well, the thing like as, the, the Tobey Maguire villains, I think, were the best villains of all the villains. Like both of them were yeah. awesome. Yeah, and then the rest of them were kind of like there. Like the Sandman and Lizard are. Just, we're just like we couldn't get the actors, so we'll just make them CG the whole time. Like why was this? Yeah, wait, they Sandman didn't get the was actors? always. They were there. I think they used like old footage or like old footage, or they got them to come for like an afternoon and film the stuff when they turn into humans again. Yeah, they're because it's I mean, much... well, the Sandman's uh voice was the, the, the actor, the well, they might, right? might have gotten to like voice, like, but I don't think they, they, they didn't get them for like the whole like because in the movie, in the movie, in Spider Man 3's Sandman is human until he's fighting, mm-hmm. like, he's not sand all the time. Yeah, but I had a feeling like, that I was like, for is all that of not it, him? So just, like, I don't, but then he, ter- but I think I don't know if it is him because they, 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 I've heard something like they use like old footage to then show him transforming where it could have been because like it's only like. A couple seconds it's not long yeah no. i mean they would still have to pay him for that right unless, unless if sony owns the footage already from the last movies they don't need to i don't think uh depends i don't know it depends what's in contracts who the hell knows um yeah i do like what the changes that they made to electro um it doesn't make the amazing this, Spider-Man. i had this whole thing online i, I talked watch this video i talked to people on twitter and i was talking about how like the whole thing was because Everyone who knew that Peter Parker was Spider Man or like knew Peter Parker, right. he never knew. He pulled, got pulled into the, the universe. Technically, Jamie Foxx's Electro didn't know that Peter Parker and Spider Man were the same person because he's never, he didn't know that. He just right. watched Spider Man and then died or exploded oh, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> so apparently, like, this was like a different, but it's like, but it's, it was the same Electro because he was like reforming when he first came into the, like he was, because he, he like, got like exploded. In Spider- Amazing Spider-Man Two, and right. then now is reforming in the in the multiverse as the new guy with like now he's cool Jamie Fox, not nerdy weird Jamie Fox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with yellow. Yeah. But he was, I think he was saying like, I remember he said like he's like oh the power in this universe is different, which makes me have a trim goatee and I act cool now. <laughs> yeah, I oh. thought that was kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little. I mean, lame, those I, I, weird I plot holes this, aside, I, I did it. like I like the just jamie fox being cool versus jamie fox being nerdy is just better yeah it would well that yeah that, that, i mean spider-man 2 just doesn't work on a lot of levels <laughs> that's yeah. a big one yeah i mean especially at the end of amazing spider-man 2 when paul giamatti is the rhino for five seconds and then they just well, in the never beginning did anything too. with that <laughs> he was in the beginning of the movie and at the end of the movie they bookended paul with giamatti. weird paul giamatti rhino yeah in, i didn't in the, in the beginning in the beginning he's on he's on he's on a big tanker truck and he's running through like the traffic and people and then spam and andrew garfield comes to his window and starts quipping with him for 10 minutes i mean there's people dying in the street right now he's plowing through cars and people are getting killed on the sidewalks probably 
Um, yeah, and then then the end ends with him in the in the like, the rhino machine like suit thing at the end of the movie, and that's when they cut it. Uh, I don't know why. And I do enjoy. Sorry, Paul. obviously, <laughs> the um like kind of screen relationship with the three actors uh, playing Spider Man. Like I feel like they're all. Oh yeah, it was cool. They they all portray Spider Man and Peter Parker differently and it yeah you really can see it when they're on the screen together how mm-hmm. like toby mcguire is more laid back and quiet and soft-spoken um and then compared to like andrew garfield is more like cocky and funny a little more charismatic because he's a good looking dude yeah. so it's like that's well, that's the reason also i didn't love him as a peter parker because i mean he's too handsome to be peter parker. well i he's think he I mean, skateboard he skateboards through the yeah, hall he he can't be peter parker well, i think Sorry. i think Toby Maguire. <laughs> Toby Maguire was the was the best Peter Parker. No. Yes. Toby no. Maguire is the best Peter Parker. No. Quiet, I'm soft spoken, into f- photography, and then you have uh, and more nerdy, and then you have to, um, Andrew nerd. Garfield is the best Spider Man because he was funny and like quippy like he is in the comics. Um, and then you have Tom Holland is good at both, so he's yeah, a good like a, Peter a good Parker mix, and too. a good Spider Man. But uh, Tobey Maguire is the better Peter Parker, but not the best Spider Man. And Andrew Garfield's not the great Peter Parker, but the best Spider Man. So it's if like Tobey Maguire. Kind of if best. Tobey Maguire was like ten years younger, then I'd say he's best Peter Parker. <laughs> but he's like a thirty-five-year-old man in high school. It just well, that's, every that was, time that was early that's 2000s. early two thousands. Right, that's just what saying, everything was. Like but that. I'm saying if you're saying best Peter Parker, I still want, I'd like to see a kid who's actually a kid like Tom Holland's. Well, now well, Tom that, Holland's that's like just Sony's fault. Like, well, yeah, I know. Well, but but I think like the way even when I watched the original ones, I'm like, they're so old. Yeah, well, yeah. but I think just the way that he portrays Peter Parker as being quiet and like yeah. kind of nerdy, just like unsure of himself, um, really awkward, um, is better like of a Peter Parker. And then you have like the quippy cockiness of Andrew Garfield's Spider Man, which is good. Yeah, but the Andrew Garfield Spider Man always rubbed me the wrong way because he was like a complete like he was quippy, yes, but he was like a like an asshole at first. Like he was. Like he's straight just trying to kill, like he was just trying to find the guy with the tattoo who killed, oh, like, yeah, quote unquote, well, killed s- Uncle Ben. That's the same thing Toby Maguire did. No, he was he, searching. No, he wasn't, he wasn't an asshole. He searched around, he, but then he found the guy, like, Tom, uh, Andrew and killed Garfield's, him. Yes, but Andrew Garfield. Well, well, actually, he backed up and fell out of the window. Yeah, he fell still, out of his own. like, he, you know, but that's the whole but thing Andrew in the Garfield, movie Andrew where. Andrew Garfield went around to, like, Andrew Garfield went around, like, I don't know. It just it the the feel the way it was handled is very different. And I, I don't love it. Well, I mean, honestly, if somebody killed your uncle Ben, you would do the same thing. I don't have an uncle Ben. We don't oh, have an sorry. uncle Ben. Um, I saw something on on Twitter that was like, until the MCU says something, this is Uncle Ben, and it was a picture of from the Seinfeld episode with Marissa Tomei and Jason Alexander, <laughs> as like with George. So that's that's Uncle Ben. <laughs> I've seen MCU. that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because so like fun. they say because ten, like when they all meet up um on the rooftop they say how like because after aunt may dies she gives the responsibility lines so, like that's for him his origin kind of thing um tom, tom mcguire obviously is uncle ben but then what does andrew garfield say because he doesn't say is uncle ben he says oh he says gwen dying yeah. is oh. his yeah, well, but Uncle Ben also Uncle Ben died also died, too. but but also I think but I think they like they couldn't do like two Uncle Bens. I don't know why. No, well, say also it. the Gwen Gwen dying in his was more was of his responsibility and more like yeah. his fault. The one, yeah. the, well, the the Andrew Garfield one. I, I watched the video on it where like they kind of like analyzed the Andrew Garfield ones. And it doesn't make sense where Uncle Ben's like on the street and the guy drops his gun. The bad guy who drops the that place, he drops his gun. And Uncle Ben like jumps on the gun, and then accidentally yeah. gets shot that way. In, well, no, I, I'm sorry. In, if, to... I'm in, if I'm in New York City and I see a guy drop a gun, I don't jump for the gun. I just run away. Or because you're like, a coward, Will. You're a coward. But he, but he's like the guy's not gonna. The guy wasn't gonna pick up the gun and start start shooting people. He was just running away and he hit, dropped. How do it. you know? I because that's no one would ever do that unless you're a police officer. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, it was. Uh, because the guy made eye contact with uncle ben and and then like looking at the gun he was like oh shit and then uncle ben went for the gun but the guy got it first and then they were trying to wrestle it out of each other's hand then i know what happened he had no he had no intention of shooting uncle ben but that's right that's what i'm saying but uncle ben was dumb to go jump for the gun just i would just be like okay go 
Like, I'm not going to get shot today. Because like, he was today. He was also not planning on the guy was, wasn't planning on shooting anybody if he didn't have to. He was going to just keep running. And if he got away, he got away. And if he didn't, maybe he would have started shooting the cops. I don't know. But I feel like Uncle Ben didn't need to die that day. Well, <laughs> or he got well, it all. Because like, the like then because then I don't blame I don't blame Andrew Garfield's for not stopping that guy. Because also the the clerk who is he was was it also I guess the same with Toby. The boy was a dick to him. So why would he help mm-hmm. him? But then it's all yeah. like, like, I don't think that Andrew Garfield was like, should have been like, hey, you stop. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I, I think, I mean, back to the, you know, the one that was uh, his major thing was the Gwen was Gwen dying. But yeah. um, come bring it back to No Way Home, because we're not going to be talking about Amazing Spider-Man and sorry, how much you dislike that. Movie. Um, <laughs> is when he saves MJ and just like the emotion on his face. That was great. You know, kind of redeeming himself. Mm hmm in a way was, was yeah, really when, nice when i saw mj falling in the trailer i'm like i bet you 20 bucks andrew groff is gonna catch him to redeem himself i knew it yeah and they did it in a in a good way um but i i mean when the trailer came out and like the i think it was the brazilian trailer when yeah. it showed the lizard getting kicked and everyone's like showing <laughs> the video that i've seen all over and i kept watching it just because it's so funny was the when they dubbed it over the incredibles thing yeah like oh, he moves. Yeah, yeah 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 right right yeah coincidence i think, I think not, not. <laughs> yeah that was great but like that's the thing like, when there was there was so much hype and tease that like if they weren't in the like if the other spider-man weren't in this movie yeah it would be it would have been bad it would have been like mayhem in the streets i think i think <laughs> Honestly, i mean which yeah. would have mean i was nervous that if they would have done like the exact movie except have them be variants of Peter Parker. Yeah. Um, and it's just Toby Maguire, not Toby Maguire, um, Tom Holland three but like times. With, but like with longer hair and this guy. Has right. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Like a little bit different. No, no. Yeah. No. Like I was like, if they did that, it would have been hard. That been ass. Ass. Well, because it would also then wouldn't have made sense. Then those villains were they like the villain. Those are specific villains that had that because they, they made sure that they kept like the, at least a similar look for all of them. Like, so, you know, who's who. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think well, best we already said best villain, uh, Willem Dafoe, Green Goblin, hands down. Sure. Yeah, it was really yeah. like when just he turns that voice on, like the Green Goblin voice is so yeah, and, and, and his Willem Dafoe and his, and his face too, like changes, he, like scrunches it, and, like and like the down when he's and, fighting, uh, and him and Tom Holland are fighting, and the scene where like Tom brutal. Holland's on top of him just beating the hell out of him and he's just smiling up at him while he's getting punched in the face i was just yeah, like, I got oh like that was like that was like joker Psycho. vibes from that yeah <laughs> hey, hey. um yeah it was just like it was like pretty brutal like going through like the different like floors of the condo like happy's condo was like pretty intense yeah the only, the one, only the co- i guess not a cop out but just like kind of like a magic machine like the ma- magic machine that could just fix everything yeah, what what the hell even was that it was, no, like it was a, the it was same like machine he used to make his thing. own his own suit in far from home it's yeah. on the plane on happy's plane well like, i get, he, like, I get makes that it. makes that makes it makes a suit but it's like it's it's doing a lot of sciencey f- stuff to make like cures or it. It, it, i'm fine with it but it's more just like one of those things like well, I mean, the only one that he actually made, he made electros and Campaign he made, thing. and he made, and he the made chip the chip for uh, Octa, Octavius. Yeah. yeah, but he needed the other Spider-Man to help him with because the, he, you know, and they yeah. stabbed William Dafoe with the stuff that he made and it didn't work. So he needed the other Spider-Man. Well, that's because William help. Dafoe was, that's because William Dafoe was working on it. And I think he did on William Dafoe uh, on purpose, didn't make, didn't do it correctly. Right. Well, still, like he yeah, needed I mean, he wouldn't, his his Green Goblin side wouldn't let him because he right. wouldn't. Also, him. Andrew yeah. Andrew Garfield did cure the lizard in the right. first movie well, that, too, that makes so sense. he already knew That's how fine. to do it. Right. Well, then, well, then, yeah. Then the then Tom McGuire said, like, I've been thinking about a way to kill a uh, cure Green Goblin for years. I guess, but after he died, I don't know why he would think about. Well, it. Well, it's so. probably just something on his mind. Like, I wish I, you know, maybe if so I could do it, you know, this is how I would do it. <laughs> yeah. Like just OJ, if he could have done it. If I if I if I done how I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but the opposite uh, to save people yeah good yeah person. well i think also like it's also a big thing about tom holland spider-man where it was like dr strange obviously just thinks of it as these are variants these are people from not our universe send them back we have to just you know right straight the straight the uh the ship we're on right now or the universe we're in but then tom holland spider-man's like me and with aunt may like you know wants to he- do what they can what the hell is going on 
um, <laughs> do can do what they can to help people no matter what. And like, that's very, very nice. Right. Like the yes, Spider-Man's nice. moral compass is always, you know, pretty true North. Yeah. Whereas Dr. Strange is like, I'm going to, I'm going to do I, what's I, needed. I totally am on, I, you know, in the beginning I was totally on like Dr. Strange's side. I'm like, yeah, fucking send it back. They're villains. And they're also like, they can screw everything up here. Send them back. They'll figure yeah. it out. But they don't know that they're villains. How do they know they're villains? I mean, oh. Dr. Octavius just showed up and just started just blowing cars up and shit, like on a bridge. Yeah. I would assume. I, th- I think the Green Goblin I saw that. It would Green Goblin best. knows he's bad. He like likes killing people. Like he's bad. <laughs> yeah, but then he was like putting on the show of like, you know, the sad old guy. Yeah, but that was that. Te- that's they say like you know it's like it looks like a split personality where it's like Willem Dafoe right. or, or Norman, Norman, Norman Osborn. <laughs> like when he's talking in the mirror. Norman with himself was in the weak and Norman. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. There's our one impression for the for the episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, where where's James Franco in this film? That's what I was curious about. Or where's MJ? Um, Kirsten Dunst. James, well, James Franco is dead, but I guess technically. Everyone, so is uh, everyone else. So back, is, uh, well, most of those people saw him off. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Well, where's Kirsten Dunst? Who I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I don't. Well, she's not a villain, so she wouldn't be brought through. No, it was people brought through who know Peter Parker or Spider Man. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, but then I, I don't know. She's the only other person. I don't who think would about know. those things because that's like then it's like people well, what May if knew. for everything. Tobey Maguire's Aunt May also knew. So why didn't no, she, she didn't. pop in? Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she did. In, in Spider Man Two, she definitely she pretty much says. That she knows he's Spider Man without saying it, but she doesn't actually say it. Yes, but she knows. She it's, knows. It's so didn't she help him make a, make a new suit too? Didn't she like make him a new suit at the end of one movie? That's Spider Verse. No, I don't think so. Spider Verse so. and May helps helps Miles Morales with a new suit. I don't think you're getting confused. Uh, uh, yeah, I but I feel I like it would have been uh, like not like to have a major plot point, but just like show her there or something. I don't know. Then they gotta pay Kirsten yeah. Dunst, and she doesn't want to do it. So, is the original Aunt May still alive? I don't know. She was old. Let's find then. out. Aunt May, Tom McGuire, Ro- Rosemary. Her name is Rose. Rosemary Time Ann and Harris. She Rose still be alive? Yeah, she is. She's still alive. She's ninety-four. God bless. Wow. Hey, God bless. Aunt May. She was born. Um, oh, she's from the UK. British. Mm-hmm. Um, two of the okay. three Spider Mans are British. That's weird. Yeah, everyone's oh, British. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, oh. I'm trying to think what else about the movie we want to talk about. Villains good. Spider Man's good. Oh, I loved when I they saw... when they were having like their chat. The like, Spider Man were having the chat on the on the Statue of Liberty, and they were like, like oh, like uh, like you guys fought cool stuff. I suck. I'm like the worst yeah. Spider Man. <laughs> No, you're amazing, like, no, dude. You're no. amazing. I was like, oh Jesus. I was like, it was almost, it was almost too cringy. But I was like, I'm like, I'm, I, I like it. I don't care. So, Wait, I, so like, I wanted I, to I bring up. That. Something I wanted to bring up that like nobody said shit about in the movie for no reason was, why? Why are they basically rebuilding the Statue of Liberty to have a stupid shield on it? Because it's like, like Captain America died, so they're just they're just putting they're not on yeah, their not like, rebuilding. I think they're just they're just replacing the torch with the shield. That's it. Yeah, I thought that was insane. Like, well, they also <laughs> reference it in Hawkeye too, when yeah. she's like, "Oh, the new Statue of Liberty." Like the, that was like, are they gonna put his face on Mount Rushmore next? Like, <laughs> maybe he's he's who knows? Insane. Well, in that universe, that's he's a big deal for everyone. I just thought that was kind of silly. I was like, really, they're just gonna put a shield on Statue of Liberty? That's kind of silly. Oh, it's yeah. not that. It's not that. It's like it's you think about. It's, the guy, the, you know, he was one of the main people who saved the whole universe and unsnapped a bunch of people. Like um, him, actually, him, was him, Iron him Man. And, but I, I'm saying helped him and him and Tony Stark approached like like gods to people. Actually, Thor was a god. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do end this, also end the Zoom call right now. <laughs> I do also enjoy the uh, when Tobey Maguire is stretching his back. Oh yeah, and then he great. cracks his back for him because the whole like Spider Man two when he like. Yeah, you know, like Tom McGuire had back. actual, actual bad, like actual really bad back problems on set. Yeah, that's why I didn't yeah. want to do. He's it like, funny. he's almost fifty years old. He's like, when he came through that portal, I was like, damn, he's damn. old as hell. Well, he was he old. Got old. He was in his thirties playing a high schooler. Yeah, twenty <laughs> you know, years ago. I'm just twenty saying. years ago. But he didn't look. He didn't look like old. Old. 
No, I but, mean, but it was it was Joe Maganello and other people who were like full on like <laughs> men, like bodybuilder yeah, yeah. men, and like I'm gonna kick your ass, Parker. Hold on, I gotta I, take my high blood pressure medication first. <laughs> hey, is that a dig on me? <clears throat> no, I, we should all be on high blood pressure medication. Good for uh, good for Toby Maguire though, still looking okay in the suit though. You know, being you know in his forties. <laughs> that's CG, Kev. Come on, that's the when Toby He's, when. But it, like if you see Tory Maguire as like a you know pictures, he's not like an overweight you know chubby no, no, guy. So overweight. like you know he's still you know forty years old, still looking all right. Good for him. You think he's like forty six? I mean, he probably did some training for the movie. I would assume. I'm sure. I bet he did at least zero. a little bit. I bet he did zero tra- like training because he was so like not into the movies at the end of Spider Man Three that he's like he probably came back for like that. Like when he comes to the portal and he does the other things, other scenes, but as, he wasn't like he's the only one who wasn't dressed as Spider Man the, the most. Like he probably just like he was like, I'm gonna wear this. No, obviously they have they have, they have a wardrobe for him, but like he's like, I don't want to wear the spider the suit until I have to. I'm like, okay, fine. No, which was fu- like they didn't well, make like a funny joke out of it. One. He's just like, are you gonna be dressed like a, a hip youth pastor, or are you gonna fight as a hip youth <laughs> pastor? And he just is like, he's got a suit like, on. I got a bitch. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do i do love how like even though when they're like fully suited up you could easily see the difference with this like even though they're all spider-man those suits are all have their all individualness that you could totally tell that who's who yeah really easy. like yeah. the the eyes the eyes are different the texture of the suit is different yeah everything yeah different. yeah like tony wire's classic uh like webbing on top of the suit like 3d almost mm-hmm. classic classic and that's, I mean, Tobey Maguire Spider Man are like, when I when I picture Spider Man, that's what pops up to me because that that was my childhood, you know. Well, it's all Spider Man was Spider Man was my jam. Spider Man one came out when yeah. you were a like a, a, a little baby. Well, Spider Man one came out in two thousand and two, I think. I think two thousand one. Either, either way, Brian, one year. Either way, either way, Brian was four. You're were, you were a little baby. To the Spider Man 2002 Biatch. All right, okay, you were five. All right, all right, you were five. Yeah, I was five. Less I got five. plenty. I was, yeah, but you know what? I remember a great deal from that period of my life. Okay. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything from me between zero and 13. Well, last I remember night... a, couple, a couple things sprinkled in there. Like, I remember at preschool one time. Um, this is not a, this like is this not a preschool project. With, <laughs> in preschool, we made this thing um with like construction paper and glitter and like i was i wanted to look at it from the um from the bottom for some reason i think i wanted to see if my name was on it and i lifted it up and i spilled glitter like directly onto my eye and i would blink and there would just be like glitter on my eye i remember that david and I also remember you're a dumb little kid <laughs> <laughs> i didn't do that again though i mean me and chris I were doing 11 vividly that will be everybody does um well last night me more, and chris were doing a year in review thing um so it's just like, oh, what was your favorite movie of the year? Which was easy for me to answer because it would be Spider-Man. Um, and then it was like, oh, what was your favorite book that you read this year? What was your favorite nerds, this? What was your favorite nerds. that? And I was just like, like thinking about it, I was like, wait, what books did I read this year? I don't remember what I did in February. I don't remember what I did last month. I don't remember. Like, it was just like February just, was a long time ago. That's just Pandy Wandy. Yes. You know, I have aged 10 years in one year, so. I'm 40 now. That. Wow. Hey, you look great. You look great. You do look great. All right. We're going for well, a little. I'm sorry. Go ahead, well, Brian. I forgot what I was going to say, to be honest. Well, let's oh. end. Let's end with a, um, with like our overall score for the movie and a little rotten tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, and geez. then oh, do you want to do out of 10 or out of a hundred? Uh, 10. Like, 10. I don't know. hundred seems weird. Uh, well, well, we're gonna do that at ten at ten out of ten, five stars, or what percentage like Rotten Tomatoes? Ten, out, just do ten, out, just to ten out of, out of how many ten? What do you right, give it? Out of ten, ten we'll do, and then um, what? Just a quick quip of what you would like to see happen in the next Spider-Man film. Okay, so okay. we'll start us up. I will give it a nine out of ten. Um, it, it's not a perfect 10 out of 10 because I think there's there's a couple of weird little plot hole thingies. Some some things were a little cheesy, but not. But I had, still had an amazing time. Not nine, nine out of 10. And I think I talked talk about before. An I amazing my... Spider-Man time. No. Um, <laughs> uh, 
And then I think for the next Spider-Man, I think I told, I said about four, I want it to be, well, I have two, the two ahead is want him to have a solo adventure all alone um, against a moderate villain, either be Craven the Hunter or uh, Scorpion or somebody like that, where he can take on it, take it on, on, on its own. Doesn't need to be a huge grandiose thing. Just as like a nice, simple um, story. And then after that, at the, tease, at the tease of that, at the end of that one, tease Miles Morales. Then next movie, Miles Morales, full mentorship team up against a bigger bad. Uh, don't uh, TBD on that. I don't really know. I can't think of it off the top of my head. A bigger villain that would be like, they need to work together. Like, you know, maybe one of them faces maybe it at Kingpin first. Or something. And they, yeah. Or they may, well, Mr. Negative. He was a crap. I didn't like him as a villain. <laughs> I don't know. He's more game. powerful than all the other ones. So yeah, he was just kind of like, uh, the or the game, MCU's least. version of Green Goblin or something. Eh, I, no, no, I don't want. I don't want be... another because they they really mm-hmm. the, with the new the what they did uh, what's his name uh, James Franco's kind of new Goblin, and then they also did in the Amazing Spider Man that guy uh, Dame DeHaan's weird Green Gobliny guy. I'm, yeah. I'm go- I want just Willem Dafoe to be the best Goblin. Leave it there. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Miles Morales, uh, Tom Holland, Spider Man team up um, with a no name playing Tom, um, Miles Morales. And that's it. Okay. Um, I would give, I think the movie would be a 9.3 out of 10. A little mm. bit better than a 9, but not quite a 10 out of 10. I feel like I nobody's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. But, you know, do a decimal system, man. Um, so 9.3 that's out of 10. Um, and then. For what happens next, uh, definitely, like you said, a more grounded, um, you know, solo film. But I feel like it, it will be a letdown from where it was. So that's going to be very difficult for them to tackle. It, so I think, it, yeah, it depends on how they go about the. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it, it will be you tough. Know, it, you be, if it's you like if you simple. go by what you said, it's going to be such a letdown of a you know, going from up here to then like, you know, now it's just a, no, they need to do it. They need to do it in know? a certain way where it's not too simple compared to the big grandiose things they've been doing. I don't know they, they can, I don't know, maybe find a, a balance somehow. I'm not sure. I would like to see Continue. a team up with, um, with daredevil would be, yeah, that's what I was talking about before. Would be yeah. an awesome way to like, bring. Dare- maybe- I mean, I don't know how they bring daredevil in because I'm sure Hell's they're going to bring him in before the next spider-man movie obviously so um however they bring that in i would like to see how that goes first but i would love to see a daredevil and spider-man team up uh more on the ground type less mystical less all that sort of stuff because daredevil obviously is just yeah like something like that where you know maybe daredevil is also trying to figure it out or, or solve it and then they you know, come together to fight the big bad at the end or Technically whatever. They've, like already met, they've already met, so it'll work. Yeah, but they've met before the spell, so now he doesn't know oh, who Peter Parker is. That's oh, right. shit. That's right. So now okay. it's starting fresh. Again. But that's all my got. True. Forgot about that. Hmm. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.9. Wow. You yeah. didn't like it. Because I, no, I, I liked it. I mean, 7.9 is really, really good out of 10. You know, I mean, I would. Not as good as a 9.3. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a smaller number. Great job. Well, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I liked it a lot, but I think, Snarky. I think for the reasons that the reasons that you gave it a nine, Will, with the cheesy, some parts, parts were cheesy, some plots, some plot holes and stuff like that. For me, I think that takes away. From the school, yeah, I could overlook a, a lot of those so. things. I can overlook a lot of those things. Yeah, it's a seven it. nine for you, Brian. What was Endgame and Infinity War? Oh, those were nines or tens. What, what seven nine? And then where do you get just give me give me your regular rank for Infinity War and then for Endgame? And then okay, Endgame was a 10, Infinity was a nine. Wow, a f- pure 10 for Endgame. Yeah, I'd give it, I'd give it a 10 too. If, you, if, you're, like count, for, if you're counting it for if you Everything else that led up to it, yeah, it's kind of a ten. Yeah, end game was crazy. I'm, I felt. See, I, felt I like. I would put it as like a nine point eight, and then ten out of ten is Infinity War for me. I think Infinity. I like Infinity War better no. than Endgame. as a movie. Yes. You like when everyone dies at the end? You're sicko. Because it's yeah. it's that's the same reason why I like Empire Strikes Back 
as the best everyone, Star Wars everyone movie. Everyone likes Empire Strikes Back as the best Star Wars movie. It's the same mm-hmm. thing. It's the same thing. The yeah, villain everyone, wins. It, but Empire Strikes Back is everyone's favorite Star Wars movie. But it's the same. It mirrors the Infinity War in a sense of it. The villain wins. They put the the, the trope of the hero always wins on its head, and yeah, but, you but he you know he, something's got to come intense afterwards. But, yeah, but Luke didn't die. He, he lost, lost his hands. Yeah, but he lost his hand and he's not dead. Iron Man didn't die, so it's fine. Oh, so many people died. Yeah, but you knew they were coming back. Like, yeah. that's my personal opinion. So you know, don't worry about it. Yeah, but the end of Endgame when everyone's coming through the portals and you, everyone and it's like that. Yeah, you, it, that's you why it's that, like you rank that lower than everyone just disintegrating. Yes, because it's a better movie. I disagree. Anyway, what I would like to see next in the Spider Man universe i suppose is i think it'd be really cool if they did something like you guys are saying how it's kind of more not as mystical because i think shit gets kind of crazy when dr strange comes to town obviously because it's all like magical crazy yeah. stuff but i think and that gets a little bit i mean for lack of a better term far-fetched even though it's a spy it's a superman movie like a superhero movie obviously it's going to be but i think it the superhero superman's in it bit, the superhero movies that are a little you know on the ground are a little cooler so i think what would be cool with spider-man next is some more like specific crime-based stuff i think something with kingpin would be a lot of fun you gotta like, watch like, hawkeye like, bry <laughs> okay but yeah i think i think that would be cool because I, I really liked what they did with kingpin in the um daredevil show so i think that would be pretty cool i agree go watch and hawkeye. i'm playing kingpin <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be kingpin and spider-man yeah be like Nutty Professor, but with Spider Man movie. <laughs> yeah. You'll also be Uncle Ben and Aunt May. Yep. Oh, child. <laughs> it's like like T- Tyler Perry is going to play everybody in the next Spider Man movie. Aunt May is going to be like Medea. Uh, nope. Tyler Perry's Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> that you know what? That's what that's that's what Jamie Fox was talking about. He's the Miles next Black Spider-Man is the next Black Spider-Man is Tyler Perry. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, Spider-Man's. Film. If you didn't see it and you listen to the whole it. thing, don't. Well, you kind of ruined yourself. You listen to us, so sorry. But if you, you still go see it, still go see yeah, it. Yeah, it's a great film. We didn't we didn't say everything that happened, even though we talked about most of it. <laughs> I probably wanna, I'm probably going to go see it again at some point. I'm going to see. I'll see it when it comes when it, I can see it, until it on comes streaming out on or something Disney or Plus. Yeah, rent yeah. it. Yeah, but it's going to be a long time from now and Sony never puts things it's on gonna streaming. Be, it's stuff. not going to be on Disney Plus though, Bri. Nope. Damn, that's right. It's a Sony movie. Well, well you know, I usually, I'll rent it. Shit. It was bullshit that like um a couple months before it came out, like the before um they want the money Home came out. I know that it was on stars and like streaming and stuff like that. Like the original Spider-Man's uh, movies were out and I was like, cool, we can watch those. And then like, as time went by, they all were gone. And I was like, shit. Now I had to rent every single one to that's, watch it before we saw it. It's it that's, how, so, that's so how money, that's how money works there. Be the time. Yeah, I know, but I was not happy about it. Thank you for tuning in on this, on the, on the brother story, Spider-Man's. Yeah. What do we're, you want? Where Spider-Mans. do you want the MCU to go? Comment you would, below. Send where us an email. Should, yeah. <laughs> Which where one of us go? would play each of the Spider-Mans? Let us know. Email Ooh. us. Yeah. Who who would be a better Spider-Man? Kevin, <laughs> William, or Brian? <laughs> That's not no, I mean, asking. obviously, I feel like if we're gonna do it by like Will's Toby Maguire because he's old. And then <laughs> I guess I'm Andrew Garfield because I'm in the middle, and then Brian, you're Toby Maguire. No, I mean uh, Tom, Tom Holland. Or I, I should be Tom Holland because I'm the shortest. I don't know. Well, yeah, I should be Andrew Garva because I'm the most handsome, as Will said before. So, right, well, when did I you say you're the most? I said that Andrew Garfield. No. I didn't say you. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You said Andrew Garfield was the mo- the coolest and the most handsome, which obviously would go to me. All right, bye, just, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Rose thrice. Bro.